Monitoring your blood sugar. Monitoring your blood sugar gives you feedback about how your body responds to what you eat and drink and your activity level, especially when you are first diagnosed with type 2 diabetes monitoring your blood sugar levels can be helpful. A blood sugar meter is simple to use and can quickly teach you how food and activity affects your blood sugar level. Once you make beneficial changes, you won't need to measure so often. Borrow or buy a blood sugar meter and a supply of strips. Use the meter to measure your blood sugar before and two hours after your largest meal. Do this every day for a week or two. Keeping a record will help you see the trends. Include your blood sugar before eating, details about your meal, and your blood sugar two hours after the meal. Also include your blood sugar after activity. Before a meal, the blood sugar of a person without diabetes will be below 100. After eating, their blood sugar will rise a little and then after a few hours, it will begin to fall back below 100. A person with diabetes will have higher blood sugar levels. The goal is for their blood sugar to measure less than 130 before a meal and less than 180 two hours after a meal. Start with meals you normally eat. You can also test favorite foods or drinks that you think are a problem. Measure your blood sugar before your largest meal of the day. Eat what you normally eat and drink what you normally drink. Two hours after you begin eating, measure your blood sugar. The blood sugar level is very high after eating this high starch meal and far above the goal. Write the details in your record. Most people find that all starches and sugars raise their blood sugar levels much more than protein foods and fats. Now, make a healthier meal by eliminating sugary drinks reducing the amount of starch and increasing protein foods and vegetables. Two hours after you start to eat, measure your blood sugar. That healthier meal made a difference, but is still not at the goal. Again, record the details. Now, use a smaller plate with healthier portions. A quarter of the plate with starch, a quarter of the plate with protein food, and half the plate with vegetables. The blood sugar goal has now been achieved. Less than 180, two hours after the meal. The record shows the improvement. Measure often in the beginning. Learn which foods cause your blood sugar level to rise too much and which foods give you healthy blood sugar levels. When your blood sugar levels start coming down after meals, you will feel better and have less hunger and fatigue. Being active soon after eating will help lower your blood sugar Check your blood sugar after the activity. After slashing grass for 20 minutes, the blood sugar dropped 40 points.
demonstrating how powerful activity is in lowering blood sugar, especially after a meal. Be sure to include activity and blood sugar levels on your record. By knowing your blood sugar goals and acting on the results with lifestyle changes, you can improve your diabetes and be more in charge of your health. That's empowering. Remember, monitor your blood sugar to see how your body responds to food and activity. You will quickly learn how much of which foods are good for you and how activity can lower your blood sugar level to reach your goals.